to talk. Yeah, you can okay. talk. So here I am with Maddie Bourbon. Hi. <laughs> And you did a scarf, in case anybody didn't know your name. <laughs> it's there. Okay, so we have show pieces from the show here. Two kind of quite, quite intense, intense looks, which are quite nice. Quite useful. We work with Liberty again for our second season. Which is great. Yeah, I love you, I guess. It's, I love the fabric, as you can see. And we had like some special prints on jersey. It's kind of... It's interesting, I think. So the collection kind of, and then over here we have commercial, we have the show, we have our commercial range. So um, the starting point for me for the show was the uniform and kind of something outside my comfort zone. Like I think people wouldn't expect me to do uniform and I don't think they really expected me to want to get it. And I think even now people are kind of like, it's really interesting. But I really appreciate design in those ways as much as these ways. So the collection is kind of a journey through my look at utilitarianism and uniform transpiring, like kind of changing and morphing into this kind of exploded... But that's nice to do both, no? Yeah, and I think it's a lot of you know, people, I, I get a lot of inspiration from like push and pull, you know, kind of like uh, opposing subjects and kind of things moving in and out, you know, and so we had, but for me it's really exciting to do a shape like this because it's quite pared back for me mm, yeah. and also it tells a different story I think I think it's telling a different story so this is kind of my um, it's almost like medical oh it's very which yeah. I think is really nice and this is Liberty actually again it's great and then we have, it looks kind of 30s, 40s yeah yeah, yeah. this is good as well so if you don't have a breast, you can stick one in? <laughs> you can, exactly. You can also take your arms off fully, you can put them back on. And I love it, I call this one the courier, courier shirt, because it's that kind of... I love that one. I love the colours. It's great. Is it like fluorescent at night or what? No, I think it's, it's more like a lime. It's not quite fluorescent yellow, but it's a great colour. It's, it's quite offensive, which I like. We also have the red, which is super, it's like a super red. It's like a, a surgeon. Yeah. Yeah. But I think that's really, I mean, obviously, we're looking at that, the visual language of clothes, so you are fascinated by these kind of things, details that people pick up as being uniform. So I think that's, that's why doing a bomber jacket's really interesting for me. I've never really done one. And everyone does one. Yeah. So I wanted to do one that was like, had a really long arm and it's like really wide. Yeah, yeah, I can model it. It's great. It's like this one. Yeah. But it's also like people, it's interesting how people read clothes, you know? And I think this season I was trying to be more obvious than ever with like the inspiration, you know? It's nice with the shoulder. Looks great. Yeah. I like but also it. I find it interesting for me, like, to wear them and to feel like feel different in them. It kind of changes your mood, certain clothes. But I think that's what clothes do. Yeah. Right? I think it's mood, like mood changing, elevating. So there's a you lot feel of... feel more powerful. Yeah. yeah. And also, it's like playing a slightly like different character or something, you know? So, you know, if I, I started wearing jeans recently, I never wore jeans for like... Not today, I had them on <laughs> yesterday. But I haven't worn jeans for... I don't even think really ever. I never, used to, never really wore them, and it's for me. It's like really quite thrilling. Yeah. So it's the same principle with this. Like for me, I've never had a bomber jacket. So, so it's, are you going to be doing uh, denim next? I would like to do some denim. Yeah. I would. It'd be interesting to do. Maybe a collaboration or something. Yeah, it would be nice. Yeah. This is a good one. This is all liberty yeah. again. To me, it's almost quite American quilt. It is. I didn't see that till yesterday. I didn't design it with that in mind, but it's a little house on the prairie. Yeah. Meets Aztec or something. A really, yeah, a really strange combination, but something quite wholesome about. It. Almost, and I'm happy. Yeah. But your stuff is always happy. I hope so. I mean, it's, it should definitely be emotional, I think. Definitely. These are good as well. This is in Liberty as well. That's great. There's a lot different clients. Yeah, there's a lot of zips. I mean, you know, it's, I call it the season of the zip. I've had a zip in like every shape. We pr pretty much looked at every zip we could get. These zips are actually many. Do you have clear. something with YKK? No. You should. I should do, yeah. yeah. I should do. Get them to sponsor something. Yeah. <laughs> but I loved, I like loved researching them, you know, because I think a lot of designers, you know, you're kind of like researching everything all the time, like components and stuff. So it's always quite fun. Mm -hmm. And then we did this as a good jacket. It's kind of like a version of a like life jacket or something. Can you try it on? Yeah, yeah, of course.
It inflates when the plane lands. Sadly, no, no. It wasn't really meant to be a life jacket, but we kept calling it that because it looked like one. Yeah. Am I in it? Yeah. It's nice though, I would think. It feels really nice on. Yeah. It gives you like a certain sense of security. Yeah. It feels really satisfying. It's double great. zip, see? Another zip. Great. But this was, this was good. And this in the show, we styled this. I can find, oh, here we are. With these kind of crazy, like almost like they almost look like monster cushions, but not with the silk. I mean, it's kind of like a complete hybrid of different inspirations. But I think it was good with it. If it had been with like jeans or something, it would have been too like ooh, normal. So that's what all the buyers will buy, right? Yeah, yeah. Which is always they never buy the strongest pieces, do they? Uh, they seem to. They are. They do seem to kind of this season want the more crazy stuff as well as this stuff. Which is good. They like this. Um, I like the name. This one wasn't in the show, sadly, but it's super nice. It's really nice. We get these made in England, uh, in Leicester. It should be Selfridge's special Christmas catalog. Yeah, cause, and it's good. It's great, like, pin, because um, you have this kind of nice line. It's great. Is it scratchy? Or no? no, I don't think so at all. It's like Italian now, and it's nice. No, it's not at all. It's really but it's, nice. And there are no gender. Anybody yeah, I wouldn't say. Them. I never do say that because I wear everything. Well, if I can yeah. fit in, I can't okay. fit in everything. This is a look from the show we had, and it's uh, the William Morris Strawberry Thief. Um, the the with the red cut through with the house cut over the top and the skirt. And there's something really nice about this kind of. You can have this kind of almost like bib across or like open. And we made, we developed all the bags as well in house, and we got them made in Lancashire, in the north of England. And you can put them through a belt, which is super nice. So you can have it like on here. Yeah, <laughs> the future. Uh, this is some jewelry. Yeah, literally, it's a waffle mold. It's some jewelry I made with my mom. I we cast all the resin at home, and you can kind of pin it across. But it's nice, no? It's so fun. And kind of weird. It was meant to look like I, like components of something that was once like a use or like an interior of like. Almost like an old interior you'd find that was like, of like a, I always said spaceship, but not really a spaceship. Yeah, you know, kind of things that once had a use that have now had to be like reclaimed, I think. Which is good. Yeah, so. They're all the Liberty fabrics. They're Kelly Liberty fabrics, and they dead stocks or whatever. They're current, they're current. And then some of them, they, some of them they print specially, so. How did that work out? Um, I yeah we, we yeah we contacted them and this one is actually this print scaled up so it's this one. It's nice. It's nice on the silk. I mean I always feel like making a collection. You're like it's like cooking you know, twenty different dishes at the same time and sometimes it might not work. Sometimes it might and then I think maybe in like six months I can really tell you what the collection's about. But it's quite hard to put it into words. And you don't you... have to, because you can feel it, so it's not... Uh... Which is nice, but you know, after the show, when you're back, I don't know what's Isn't that horrible? I hate that. I it's think it's quite difficult, though, because you, you kind of know, and you go on, in, I go on, in, everything's instinct, I think, you know, you have, well, that's what we all have. Um, and then you have to try and make it make sense, and they want to make a short article, and it's like, da -da -da, like five so bullet nice. points. No, it's so that, horrible. That's interesting, but... Um, I never go backstage, because I know, like, designers are like, exhausted, and yeah. everybody's getting, they're going to sound like broken record anyway. Well, everyone seems to record the same sound. Yeah, that's it. It's, yeah. Kind of a bit pointless, you'd think. But, yeah, um, I agree. I feel it, you. You feel it. This is a nice class. The smaller scale. It's great. It's kind of sweet. Yeah, kind of sweet and kind of a bit scary. Like, this is quite an aggressive colorway. The red's super aggressive. And then this was our opening look in the show. It's like kind of motocross kind yeah, of... Yeah, it's like Swiss... Yeah, function, yeah. functioning kind of... There's so many different inspirations. Sometimes, it, you know, you look at it and you're like, that's a nice look. Like, yeah. No, I think it's the mix that makes it so, so much fun. Yeah, and it's... it's yeah, it, the, the visors were amazing as well we did with Stephen. Like he's such a dream, isn't he? Isn't he? And the oh, nicest person. I and so him. like... All, think of every, I mean, every hat he must have done, and still always so many new ideas, you know? Um, that was great. great, and they look, it's so arresting, it's like it's terrifying, you know? I know, it's like, um, 
and everyone was like, how did they walk? And they actually couldn't see through them because everything's oh, double vision. No, so they had to look down. Wow. So it's crazy. Yeah. But they did an amazing job, the girls, really amazing.